Welcome back everybody. If you remember last week we started working on this backstop for a shooting range for a buddy of mine in the rear of his property and we're going to kind of pick up where I left off there. These telephone poles are a little bit more cumbersome than I thought they'd be strapped together and right now the issue is is that they're hung up on a little ledge. Um, we, there's a trench in front of it. When we tried to lift them up into place um, the poles just kind of got hung up and we're trying to get them in there without removing them and starting from scratch. Right now we're just trying to kick out the bottom to get them to fall into the trench and this method just is not going to work. We need to come up with a different idea here and we're going to try to take this toe strap and wrap it around the bottom of the poles and see if uh, the guys can just pull out the bottom so it'll kick down. So that didn't work entirely, but we're still not in a bad spot here. Those things are heavy, they're hard to manipulate, especially now that they're attached together. And we just need to straighten this out and make it perpendicular and add two more poles to each side. Well, we straightened them up, we got them up in the air, and now the root squad in the background there is going to start loading some dirt behind there, the dirt that I piled up earlier with the loader. Don't forget you gotta put the other ones in too. So. Yeah, so it's coming up just behind it. So I think now we'll put some in front of it and then we'll clear the side out. I know what you're saying. I'd do another one on this side and then push some more dirt from the top down and then we could push some on the front. Okay. Hurt your ankle or your knee? Mm -hmm. Your ankle or your knee? My ankle. I oh. slipped off the side of the dirt and then rolled it. Rolled it. Better now, it's just an initial like 35. I know. We're making progress. We've got a ratchet strap out just to uh, snug these up, keep them together, and taunt um, to make it easier to work with. We still have a couple more to put up.
that'll make eight all together. They're at a good place. We're just going to reinforce it with a little bit of dirt on the back and then we're going to lock it in with some dirt off the loader. So essentially you're going to try to pile up the dirt almost up to the line of that ratchet strap and put more dirt in the back. And I'm going to try to make a little ramp to give me some height so I can get the bucket to reach up and over the wall of these poles.
Good. Probably set it on the ledge, go up there, and then try to pick it back up again. Set it on the ledge first. Probably set it right on that two by four. Oh, I thought he meant. Sorry. It's easier to pick up than on the mud. Don't drop it on there. All right, go ahead. Up. He's got stone today by himself. It took him all day. So they have a bunch of railroad ties that they're going to stack up back here. This will be the first of about five. And then I basically just finished piling some dirt up front, and that was a wrap. So a very unique project. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, a lot of this dirt is probably going to settle after it rains a few times and I think it'll be a nice backstop for their shooting range. I don't think those poles or railroad ties are going to go anywhere. And maybe in a future video I'll be able to show you this in action and see uh, how it's holding up. All right, that's going to do it for today. If you remember uh, a couple weeks ago, I was looking for advice on getting a new UTV, and I got one. So we're going to check that out next week. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and keep an eye on us. Take care.